Hi there guys, this is Farmer Bob. Welcome back to my channel. Great, awesome man. We're back on another video. That is so good. <laughs> it's weekend here by us, so I've got a bit of time so I can uh, squeeze in a video, <laughs> hopefully. Great man. Um, I've had a request or, or a few requests to, um, to add how to add a cell point or not a cell point, a production point to your map. In other words, a factory. Now with factories, there is one or two little tricks and I'm going to show you both or, or the ways of around both of those but uh, um, the first one obviously is uh, if you do a custom one one that you download off the internet or the second one is obviously if you do an in-game one um, now it doesn't matter both processes are virtually the same there's just one or two steps that's different in between the two so yes guys sit back and relax um, if that is uh, what you are interested in to watch the video for I hope you enjoy it I hope it's insightful and then uh, lastly if this is your first time <laughs> a warm welcome to you uh, do stick around we, we do some uh, good stuff here on the channel or we try and um, at least uh, learn together you know and have a good laugh here and there because <laughs> sometimes stuff happens you know <laughs> but anyway good stuff man great guys so let us first now have a look um, at what productions is on the map I'm on my test map this is the Alpine map um, I do love this map it's a beautiful map and um, I've made it made myself just a test map of it um, and you can see my video card is still flashing <laughs> the trees have started to flash again I don't know why I haven't even bothered fiddling with that I just don't have time anyways guys so um, without further ado let us um, I just want to save this map um, save like so save the game actually I didn't really have to save that but anyways it doesn't matter all right so let's have a quick browse um, on um, and these ones I can close because this is my map that I'm currently working on Harib South Africa one of our maps I'm transfer transferring from FS19 um, it will be released hopefully if all goes well tomorrow or, or Monday at the latest great guys so um, mods and test map and we want to go into the placeables folder just to see what there is on the map and then we'll add something that's not there so we have a bunker we have a selling station that's a mill a town store chocolate factory and cheese factory so they've got chocolate and cheese um, that's basically what they have on the on the um, the alpine map so let's go browse in the on the in-game one um, now I've got the Alpine one there and I've got the Alpine one here let's go left uh, and we go to uh, the in-game map data maps and then let's take the French one because French let's take the US one because US is a totally different country they might have different uh, production units so let's have a look data placeables where's the placeables for the US map good so they have a PGA debris crusher which is definitely not what we want although that is a production we can think of that one drain board slide swing cow bale seating train station they've got a bakery carpentry that's a normal thing and they've got a cereal factory so either a bakery or a cereal factory let's do the cereal factory I haven't I haven't played with that production before so I don't know what that does let's let's do that one all right so from the, from the get-go we already have a line in our placeable so the first thing to do obviously is copy that line over so you just select the whole line control C go to your placeables from your map I just want to make sure I'm in that test map yes placeables and then just drop a new line in there like so and paste control V there you go now we've got the factory in believe it or not um, the XML the placeables XML is the file that is running when you open your map in game it, it runs this placeable and everything in this placeable uh, file or the XML will be loaded that's the actual stuff that gets configured so the first thing we want to have a look at is for the serial factory we need to get this file serial factory.xml so we're going to go to this directory it's under lizard production point serial factory so we want to copy that xml map us uh, 
and then uh, it was under placeable sorry it's data placeables map us uh, what was it map us placeables lizard sorry not us <laughs> lizard uh, data placeables uh, lizard there's lizard lizard and then it is serial factory um why am i so crazy today production points man my word oh i mean no production points and then serial factory so here's all the production point for uh for the whole well for the lizard brand um yeah nice so let's take that serial factory and we're gonna copy this it, well how it works guys there's now two ways about it either you download a mod off the internet and you will end up if you un you can't work with a zip mod you can actually work with a zip mod but it's such a big slip because if you there's two ways to work with a, a zip mod you can either build it into your map so it's part of your map which is the best way to do it by the way and that's the way i'm going to show you or you can keep it as a zip mod in your mods folder and just pull that mod out as a mod into your map the problem with that is you give the map to a friend of yours and he can't play it because he doesn't have the mod you know so you have to always accompany the the map with the mod uh, which is a slip so let me show you the right way of doing it you're going to build in from here on uh, we're going to handle unzipping the mod you download the mod in a zip format unzip it into a folder like this production point serial factory that's your folder a serial factory and then this is what you get from the mod when you unzip it you've got your xml the mod will have with it one thing extra is a mod desk file now we'll talk about that when we get to uh, loading the, the the xml's or working with the xml's because we're going to modify that now the other way now is if it's an in-game uh, um, factory like we're currently having then we only need the xml we don't need the, the rest of the stuff all right so we're gonna uh, um, take the xml copy it drop it drop it into our maps folder let me just see this is my map maps alpine now what i normally do guys um in in my map directory where the map r3d is i normally just make a folder there new folder and i call it xml that's the easiest for me to remember and then i drop all my all my buildings that i import uh, or, or i would say all my stuff from the um from the placeables that i need to place i put all my xmls in here and then i know exactly where they are i don't have to go to all the directories to get because because normally you'll stick the xml together with the mod stuff you know but i drop that xml i drop it in here it's a bit more work because now you have to change two directories if you if you have a mod um but yeah it's for me it's simpler that way because then all everything is together and the directory stay the same you know on all the xml's good all right so now what we want to do now first is have a look at the serial factory xml now in the serial factory xml there's a few things that you need to check your store data first of all make a note in your mind we have to do the store data that's another xml we have to we have to add the store data to another xml it's actually an xml called store data or store yeah i think it's called store data .xml. anyway so what we want to do now is first of all have a look at the the function uh the name you can change this name here if you change this name uh let's do it i'm gonna call this just zero factory or just call it the Roy's Serial Factory. Why not? Roy's. I don't don't know if we can. Yeah, I, I don't think the spelling here will make a, a, a problem. Roy's. Um, let's call it Roy's Serials. Um, like so, Serial. Now this, um, this little section here, you can just keep it like that. That's your name of the factory. Roy's Serials. Okay. The function you leave don't fiddle with the function now the next thing the image if you have a mod that you've downloaded you want to change this um you you want to change copy that mod into your mod into your maps folder i wonder if we should rather do it that way let us do it that way guys i'm gonna i'm gonna make as if this uh factory is a downloaded mod and then we'll do it that way because it, it the only difference is if it's an in-game one like this one is 
you will only use the XML. But if it's a mod you downloaded, you need the whole thing in your map. So let's do it that way. Then it also serves two purposes. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to open this i3D just for now. This you obviously won't do, but you can follow my steps if you want to keep this. Um, it's going to make your map bigger, first of all, because um, you're going to put this thing in your in your map folder. All right. And then we take the serial factory, the, the transform of it, go file export with files and we're going to go to go to your map directory minus test map maps map alpine and i'm going to create once again a new folder for the mod uh, and i'm going to call this placeables because you want to have all your placeables uh, you want to put in one place and then this is a factory so i'm going to put it in its own folder called serial factory just so that i have it nicely sorted you know because you don't have some mushy a bunch of files just uh, all together and then you're going to call it whatever you want serial dot in fact let me let me call it uh, what what the game calls it it is serial factory because then it's simple and easy not serial factory i3d i just want the serial factory sorry if like so copy that come here call my i3d serial factory as well like so then it's the same and then when it asks you now this you'll only do if you want to use the in-game one and bring it into your map uh, if you've got a mod already you don't have to do any of this that i'm doing now so i'm just going to go yes i want I want both of those I want to keep the paths and everything close it up don't save anything it's the in-game stuff right so what we're going to do now is uh, go to our map directory open that um, mod map map placeables and then there's the serial factory and there it is all right so now we have the directory for that so what we want to do okay let me bring over the whole katoot because uh, otherwise we won't be able to do it the same that's the store data uh, the store icon i think that might be everything that i need copy that all right so all you basically need to do is make sure here that your image file points to the correct store it's store dot serial factory that's the image that it's looking for so we need to make sure that the directory it's leading to store dot serial factory is in our map this is now if you've got a mod if it's if you're working with the in-game one just leave it there it's fine that image is there so just in your mind keep that to uh, um, understand it's two different scenarios okay so here we go i'm going to click there test map maps so from my map name that watches this map i'm going to copy everything behind that that's the directory tree to get to this folder where this the i3d and the store data is located so copy that and then we're going to overwrite this whole modules here like so change all the slashes to forward because they need to lie forward right and there you go so that's our directory to the to the image and then you can go down the line look at the next thing is your i3d where's the i3d called from that's the one that we've exported or if you've got a mod that you've unzipped and put in your map directory this will be the i3d for that and it normally like i've created a folder for it keep everything in one folder uh, except for your xml if you want to keep your xml in here it's not a problem it's your own decision i like mine in one folder it's called xml so i'll put it in there right so now this is where our our i3d is located so it's the same directory i'm just going to copy this one now because i've already fixed it copy and i'm going to overwrite everything here up to serial um serial factory so that the the the, the file name is now pointing to that i3d which is what we want right so then we go next go down the list guys find anything with directories fix the directories there's normally sound files and there's normally other things that points to different things in your mod that you need to fix even if you've unzipped the mod you have to look at the the links because because uh, the the directories will be different because you have to fix 
uh, if you've unzipped a mod, you'll have to do the same here to, to, to make it to work I, from your mod. Even if you've just unzipped it, your XML will be, will be different. So you have to fix that. Right, so we're going to go, that is a dollar data. That's the props. If you have props for your map, uh, for your uh, mod or for your factory, you'll have to call that R3D as well because this is dynamically loaded parts. In other words, once the R3D is running or it, it once the game uh, opens your map and it loads that R3D, this one here on top, it will also load this one together with it. So make sure those that directory is correct. I didn't bring that over, so I'm going to leave this on, on the in-game place. But if you have a mod and there's extra props, remember to change the directory for that too. Trigger markers, don't worry about that. Lights, we don't worry. That's all internal stuff. But do check for any directories, guys. Production point. Any directories like sounds. Anything that's got to do with sounds will have a directory. It doesn't look like there's any on this on, on this factory. But that's the only thing is make sure your directory is right. Because what's happened is once the mod is loaded in-game, it will give you an error in your log if there is anything missing that it can't find so it's easy to fix afterwards it's just a few things change directories or whatever and you will know about it okay so that is all we need to change in the serial factory xml okay so we're going to save that i'm going to keep it open and then in my placeables i want to now change this directory to where my xml is so it is in my XML is under the, under my XML folder. Remember, I said to you, I make my own. So this is where where, where the XML is stored. So we're gonna go again from from our map name. Copy everything off to the map name. Control C, and then bring that in here. Now what happens is the game works like this. So it first sees it's a placeable, and it's got a map bound ID. The map bound ID. Uh, I haven't figured out in FS22 if if you can change this, but I think you can just call it anything you want. It's like a description. Uh, map bound, it means that it's always there in the map. Doesn't matter what game you play, map bound ID is it's forever there in the in the game. So that is what the map bound ID is. It's bound to the map. So it doesn't have anything to do with game dif difficulties and load ups and all that. It's always there. All right, file name. We're going to change that now. Overwrite everything up to the XML's name. And then just change our slashes again. Right. And then, so this directory now says under maps, map alpine XML serial factory, that, that must be loaded. And we've already checked this XML. All the, all the um, directories for that is correct. So we're happy with that. But it's going to give you an error if you leave it like that. It's going to tell you that this XML serial factory XML could not be found. So what we're going to need to do is put a dollar, and then we call map der, uh, map der like this, and another dollar, and a forward slash. So it's going to tell now find this file in your map directory under maps map alpine XML, and you will see it's going to be perfect. Won't have a problem. Right now. The next thing we want to do, I just want to space this right. One space between is fine. It doesn't really matter. You can have 10 spaces. It's all right. Um, all right. So the so next thing to, to do is position and rotation. So we're going to do that just now. I just quickly want to talk about the default form property. Um, if you put this um, piece of code in there, let me rather explain it like this. If this factory is something you're putting on your form, and you want it to be loaded as the default form property. In other words, if you play the, the new former mode, the first mode, there's three modes in the game. It's new former, then then moderate, and then difficult. Um, I don't know what the other two are called, but anyway, that's the three difficulty levels. So in the new former, you get all the equipment. So if you want it to be part of the new former, you have to take this default property, copy that, and put it here just before your, um, where is the serial factory? You put it just here after your rotation. Paste it in there. Oh my gosh, no, Control Z. I haven't copied it. So you copy this default form property, the whole thing with its little things. Control C, 
uh, drop it in the serial factory just after rotation paste it there and then also you would, would like to add your form ID so that is when you have it on your form all right so you just drop that in there one space control V so this this setup will load this on your form and obviously at this rotation and position so um, if it's a uh, mod or, or a, a factory that is available for everyone on the on the map then you take these out because then you you want it to to be not something that's not part of your form if you if you want it to be not uh, not part of the um not part of the uh, um the startup form or, or the new form mode then you just leave it like like it is it will be fine it, it will only load in in fact what you what you want to do then is you want to put a default property and you click there and make it false and then give uh, um, yeah you just make it false if if you want it on a form say if you have a second form on your on your map and you want it on that form then you'll just say false there at the default ah, I hope it I, I hope it makes sense guys <laughs> it's a lot I'm talking too much today anyway so there you are so let's place the um, serial factory now in a spot um, so we're gonna go to our map just open our map in the editor 9.2 obviously and then we're gonna just find a spot for it I'm gonna put it in town somewhere or find a spot close to town just to make sure that we um, place it somewhere we'll see just now yeah there we go that's a um, railroad silo or a railroad thing where can we put it I don't even know how big this is but uh, this town is already so full <laughs> maybe 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 the we can look if it, if, if it will fit yeah I'm gonna just import it so long so we go file import the i3d um, test map maps make sure you import the right thing you don't want to make a mistake here zero factory I'm gonna just control X and go into map is normally uh, a spot for them locations control V place it in there control B drop it on the map yeah it's actually that's probably where the where the props come in so now uh, around this thing you can now obviously put your um, fences and make it nice and I just want to see what what all triggers are there it's only that one trigger so I'm gonna place it like that with the one trigger there and then let's take away some uh, grass and weeds and stuff scripts window uh, we want to just get our terrain editing up here foliage layer Let's just go deco foliage and then it looks like my brush is very big my brush why is it so big it's 300 just make it 20 right and then just gonna wipe away some grass here just for fun and drop some concrete there just to make it look a bit better let's go asphalt uh, alpine like so all right and then obviously we want to have have to go to um, this one go to rain detail with nothing selected and then just right right click to remove and make sure your right click button is um, on subtract and it will remove the un unwanted um, um, what do you call it unwanted stuff from the from the foliage layer the terrain detail is is, is is your detail layers for your ground type stubble seed bed plowed sown directly sown whatever all right so um, one thing I just want to verify is if I haven't placed this now over two farmlands <laughs> that would be funny uh, you see I've, I've just made it so uh, so yeah okay I've actually actually I want to um, just move that about a bit map uh, locations where is it it's at the bottom serial factory uh, I can I'll move it up a little bit I have to take this away now to make this available all right 
because I think that other that other purple uh, lands is um, you can't buy it, but this you can buy. So if you now control R on this, it will show you farmland is uh, farmland 12. And if you go into your map to farmland, uh, farmland, mind you, this is uh, fa this farmland is not set up on my test map. It's actually on the in-game one. So I have to now look at the in-game one. I hope it makes sense guys yours should be in your map directory if it's not then you then you're gonna have a um, same problem as I have I, I have to still bring it over into my map because it's still part of because it's the Alpine map it's part of the in-game map uh, placeables maps uh, map Alpine and then in here I should have farmlands farmlands and that was farmland number 12 yeah I'm with number 12, it's, it's a normal NPC map. Um, it's the BGA that's show on farm uh, that doesn't show that you can't buy, and then that's your default farm property. That's our farm, or the default farm is farmland 43. Good, okay. I hope it makes sense, guys. So, so I'm happy with that. We can now uh, go ahead. I can buy that property if, if I need to. Right, so there you go if I want this factory or if I want to make use of it or whatever the production right so now um, now we have the production in the in the editor but it's still not in the map guys actually I forgot uh, forgot the tiny little thing just want to see if there is a placeholders folder I'll quickly have a look but I don't see anyone the main farm I think does have one let me just have a look yes the main farm has a place all this for them so I can just um, mm, let's quickly have a look yeah yeah the main farm uh, has got one you see what happens is guys let me just uh, quickly explain what I'm on about if you place this in the map just like this and load this data it's going to load twice because we're already calling it from i3 from the xml here under under your placeables so this is going to load it load it uh, into into the game and it's already in the i3d so it's going to load it twice and it's going to cause your errors and problems and stuff won't work and all kinds of things if you load it twice so in order for us to to have a visual on it to see it in the editor but not load this one in the game we have to put it in the placeholders folder if that makes any sense to you so what we're going to do let's just quickly create a placeholders folder for us under the locations um, thing so we're going to go create transform rename this to placeholders you can name it anything but placeholders is the correct name for the or, 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 or the most descriptive name for what the file the folder does so we're going to go here under locations paste it in there all right and then what we're going to do is you're going to select your folder whatever you named it and you're going to go to not material editing we're going to open window uh, user attributes and we're going to run a script on this called on create so you type in on with a capital c create like this and you're going to go the type is a script callback and you click add and then in here by on create you type place holders dot on create just like that placeholders dot on create let me just see if I spelled it correctly capital P placeholders and then dot on create exactly like that and now this folder now became a folder that will hide whatever is in it in game when the game is loading all right, so now we can take this boy, uh, Serial Factory, cut it out of the normal place, drop it into that folder, and it will be hidden from the game, but visible in the editor for us to work with. You can actually, if you've built your whole map and you're happy with the whole layout, you can actually delete all the placeholders folders so that it's out of your i3D, because they're going to be called via XML, because the XML sets up everything this XML tells the game exactly where to load it and where to put it and where the R3D is that it must load so you only need to load it once um, and this is the correct way to load it is via XML 
Okay, good. So now that we have done uh, done that, I must just reselect it. And now finally we can control shift and C on the translate X and it will copy all three. We go back into our placeholders and we go on to position and you overwrite by pressing control and V to paste all three at one time. And then the rotation, the same thing, back into your map, click on the X, control shift C copies all three for you back into your XML and just select all three control and V to paste you can do it manually type them all in there one by one and the game has got this funny thing of putting all these extras but don't worry about it it's all the same just copy and paste it in there or if you want to you can type these numbers exactly one by one if if you if you want to do it yourself good okay guys now now, believe it or not, the factory is now built into your map. But we still need to do the store data. The store data needs to be, uh, is, is, is mentioned in the serialfactory.xml. But um, for some reason, the game doesn't know about where the store data is. So the guys at Giants uh, sort of made a workaround for us to do. And you're going to go into your um, map directory again. There should be a store data here, but because my map is just a copy of the Alpine map, we have to add that to the to the to the um, to the map. So let us add it. All right. So now what we're going to do is uh, go into the Alpine map again of of Farming Simulator 22, the the default game map. Going to find that thing that says store data, store items. Sorry, not store data. Store items is the right one. So you're going to copy that. Bring it into your, your map directory, drop it here, control V, like so. And when you open that, it's going to have all the store data in there. If if you have your own map, uh, you, you would like to disable all of these. If it's your own map and you don't have all this stuff in your map. Because if you put stuff in here and that thing is not on your map, in your placeables XML then you're gonna have a problem it's gonna tell you this XML cannot be found and all kinds of errors in the log so what you do is just go like that uh, it's a smaller as a, a exclamation mark two two dashes and you just keep on doing that until until uh, um, so it's one there like that and in two dashes until all is green up to the end but don't do the last one what you want to do is um, do that one for instance and then here at the very last one you end it with two dashes and uh, greater as and they are because because this needs to be there you need to see this red line right to the top if you don't see the red line there's a problem somewhere in between all right so now obviously all this stuff is in my map so I have to now unfortunately just undo, control Z, undo all that I've done. But now we want to add the store data or the store items. So easy as pie, you just select the first line, control C. So you duplicate it, make yourself a new line, press home button, control V. There you have it. Now you've got a copy of that first one, but we want to go back to our XML test map map XML and we're gonna take uh, take the directory up to in fact where did we put it it is under our farmlands no not farmlands sorry store items what is this oh, that's, uh, that's where we're busy working this is our placeables here it is that's where you find find your placeables and under your placeables you already have the directory to your XML so you're going to copy that whole directory with the XML this time from your map there so everything off the map your map directory copy everything control C go to your store items and overwrite everything here up to there control V and there it is now your store your store item is now installed and the map will realize that in this directory, in this XML, I must look for the store item. And if you go to that serialfactory.xml, which is this one, 
here is the store data that the the game will be looking for everything is here to set it up Roy cereal and we uh, um, the, all the needed stuff it's a placeable it's a production point you know all the stuff that game needs is told for it there right so now I'm gonna save remember to save your XMLs great so there you are guys and best of all is save the map and if you have made any ground guys like um, like um, if you've done any uh, um, hide changes or whatever go to scripts um, I've actually did save now yes go to scripts let me just close this collapse this all I like to keep this thing closed for some reason I don't know why <laughs> go to scripts go map and go to uh, create ground collision map all right so if you've done any changes to your to your terrain make a new ground collision map and the game will create it for you that's all you need to do and then afterwards once it says um, it's done here at the bottom if you open your console I just want to wait for it to finish if you open your console now um, it will tell you that you need to save the save the map to save to update all your uh, um, weight files good so ready 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 yeah it's really taking long and there it crashes for some reason oh my word I don't know about you guys but this editor is really bad it's really 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 bad okay let me just collect my thoughts again let's try again it's gonna recreate our ground collision map there for some reason this editor especially when you work with fields and you work with it um, um, the field areas oh my word it crashes like crazy I don't know about your editor maybe you can drop a comment to me is your e editor stable does yours crash as well I would like to know just let me know guys <laughs> that would be nice all right so let's try again I'm gonna open my console uh, so I can see what's going on right at the bottom and do that guys check that you don't have any errors in your map if there's any errors um, you, you will immediately see it and now that we oh we did save luckily we did save before and that's a tip guys do save your stuff before you do any of the scripts if you click on the scripts just make a note in your mind mental note hey remember to save first so save first and do the script then because yeah these scripts are very um very very unreliable okay ground collision map let's give it another go it's supposed to say yeah at the end um that it's finished it gives you a nice little wishful thinking roll out there and making you smile oh it's now done and whatever so now it is still saying not responding because it's still busy working let's see if it can do it this time there you go ground collision map updated finished run save to finally save all the info layers all right so now we are happy so we can just save it it will update the info layers and we are ready to roll okay so now it's done now we can quickly test it in game so we're going to open the game have a look farming simulator 22 remember to save your xmls before you open the game because otherwise your changes will not be visible in game i've done that like not once i've done that many times but i've got to open the game oh my word there's nothing here and then i realized oh what i haven't saved the xml and that's why there's nothing there <laughs> you have to go out out of the game again and get back in oh my gosh all right we can delete that one because obviously now it's changed go new former test map continue let's just see i'm gonna open the console and while the console is running don't worry about the collectibles we don't have collectibles there you go did you see the yellow one the yellow one is a warning and i can guarantee you there's a problem so we're gonna just wait for it to finish loading then you're gonna go page up uh, to, to open the console you press your tilde key if you don't know where the tilde key is it's the one that little wave sine wave key right next to your one key on the left of your one key on the keyboard all right placeable load placeable can only load existing store items now a store item for uh, D yeah, documents my games farming simulator mods test map maps map alpine XML serial factory Am I dreaming? Uh, why does it say it can't find it? 
all right i'm going to go start obviously my factory won't work if you have any errors on your factory it it it, it might be there as an i3d been loaded but your functionality will not be working and you can see here where we've added um the serial factory it was here somewhere it's not there so let's go out of the game immediately exit quit because uh, it's no point hanging around there's a problem um, because I didn't put the whole mod in it might be that I have added the store because remember you've got the two scenarios one working with the in-game one one working with the mod if you're working with a mod you definitely have to put that store um, store items in there oh uh, you know what guys here it is um, I forgot to change my store items now um, where is it? it it's loaded from somewhere um, store items here it is I must change this directory because I've copied the store items changed it from the in-game to my local map folder that's why I've just realized now I forgot because this map isn't set up yet um, yours should be yours should be you should have a store data or a store items XML already set up but if you don't have then you have to follow all the steps that I've done copy it out and change this directory in your map XML so we're gonna go to our uh, file directory again that is where it is so it will be maps map alpine control c in fact i can just i can just delete the dollar data thing here because now the store items has changed it's from we changed it from the in-game one to our local file or our local map and that's under maps map alpine store items right sorry man i forgot about that there's so many things that can make your thing not work so now it should call it it should call it correctly now so let's have a quick browse hopefully it will be right right new former test map continue start yes open the console again and see if you see a yellow line you know there's a problem that red ones ignore them that's not part of the the map yet i never bother about little collectibles it's a waste of time for me so far so good i don't see any any worries so so far yet zero factory i3d there it is it loaded the i3d no errors after it nice that's what we want to see all the rest of the stuff been called there you go guys so now we've got a working zero factory right so what we're going to do now is open the pda and just have a browse there it is roy cereals <laughs> isn't that sweet okay we can visit it and uh, you'll have it there you'll see here's your little point you can actually go here press R, and you can see all the scripts that are working for it and all the working stuff that are working for it and that my friends is how you put a factory into your map now one thing I want to add quickly just to show you if you're working with a mod that you've downloaded you will you will have to do one extra step i'm just going to quit game there's one extra step that you need to do to make it to work and i'm going to show you now what to do there uh the map xml we're done with that store items we're done with that in fact let's keep that open just just for reference sake zero factory the xml let's keep that open placeables this is the in-game placeables we don't need that anymore this is my maps placeables leave that open all right okay let us look at a mod if you download a mod i'm going to look at this lime factory i'm busy building in this lime factory into my map um, so what you will do to do a placeable like that is create a folder obviously the same as we've done with the zero factory call it lime factory just for now just for an example factory can't spell and talk it's difficult <laughs> <laughs> factory <laughs> oh my word all right so you open the mod uh extract everything into that folder just like that and immediately you'll notice there's a mod disk file all the rest is still the same that we've just been through you work exactly the same except for now you've got a mod disk file it's a description of the mod that the, the game uses to to know that it's a mod so what you're going to do normally if you have any factories you'll have a one thing uh, section into into your um, into your mod or into your uh, factory to make it work in this case 
uh, shop item lime processing this is actually just information but if you have anything in your um, in your mod called called 110 you have to copy that over to your mod desk all right so that's what we're going to do and here you will see it also calls the store item because it's a mod so we've already added the store item you don't have a problem with that we the only other thing it's the store item obviously but we've already done talked about but the 110 you can't work without that so what you'll do is go 45 uh, not 45 i mean copy the 110 everything like that Control c and then you're going to open your maps mod desk in other words um map placeables map alpine oh it will be at the test map directory right in the beginning of your map under your uh, the root or the, the root of your map you will find your mod desk file and there you can see uh, the author name test map description the icon for it and and and, and. so what you're going to do is here at the last section of of your thing before the mod desk ends because that's between the mod disk this mod disk start mod disk end you're going to just add here create a few lines for yourself press a home button and paste it in there if you already have 110 in there you'll only copy this two lines for instance and uh copy this two lines from from the other mod disk of the mod copy and then you add it here to your 110 like so just paste it in there and everything is fine save your mod disk and perfect no worries so i'm just gonna not save it because i don't want that stuff in my mod disk and this is now maybe a lime factory all right I've already got that um, time victory this map maps uh, map alpine. I'm just gonna delete that again. Right, guys. So that is how to 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 work with with a mod that you've downloaded or a factory that you have um, that you have uh, um, pulled out from the in-game one. But it's so so much easier to use the in-game ones and just uh, um, use them because there is so many nice ones now available. Um, but if you do have to have a, a mod that you've downloaded, it's a special uh, thing that you can't find on the in-game one. Do it this way. It will be fine. You, you'll see it will work. Great stuff. Good, man. Guys, I hope it's been insightful. And I hope it's been fun. Uh, to me, I've enjoyed it very much. If there's any questions, do uh, drop in the comments. Um, more than capable of, of helping where I can obviously <laughs> but uh, yeah bless you guys for watching thank you so much for your time and really appreciate it remember to like and remember to subscribe guys and do share my stuff really appreciate that guys it does help my channel to grow and uh, I do appreciate it from my heart guys thank you so much and a big big thank you obviously to my supporters uh, bless you guys thanks so much alright guys I'll catch you on the next one cheers eh